eight things every school must do to prepare for the fourth industrial revolution. Hi, my name is Bernard Ma, and as, as a business futurist, I help companies understand what this new fourth industrial revolution means for them. And I believe schools need to get ready for this and change the way they are delivering education. So let's dive straight in. Number one is I believe we need to redefine the purpose of education. In the past, we've educated children given them a skill for life, we've prepared them for a job or a certain skill set. Nowadays, schools need to prepare children to do anything because our world is changing so fast that the job we do today will be very different in five years time. The skills we have today will change significantly. So we need to shift from doing something to doing anything. Number two, we need to improve our STEM education. So STEM is science, technology, engineering and math. And those are skills we need. We need more data savvy people in the future. We need to have an understanding of data science, of technology, understand what this all means. So STEM is a focus and we need to make STEM more exciting, especially for girls. There's a huge lack in there at the moment in schools and we need to bring this to life. Instead of teaching it in a boring way, we need to get people experimenting, making it exciting. Number three is moving away from STEM, which is easy. We need to actually focus on the human potential. We need to focus on the humanities. We need to teach people things like emotional intelligence, creativity. We need to make sure they can interact with each other. All of these really human skills are vital. We need people that can speak languages, people that can translate. All of these skills will become vital in the future and we should never forget those. Number four is to adapt to lifelong learning. This new world means we need to learn and unlearn and relearn all the time. And I don't see this in schools at the moment. If we look at some of the recent studies from Dell and the Institute of the Future that says 85% of jobs we will have in 2030 don't exist today. So we need to prepare our kids to learn new skills, to change their skill set. And this has to become part of the curriculum, this ability to adapt and learn new things. Number five is rethinking how we train our educators. At the moment, a lot of focus is on distilling information and then teaching kids that information, remembering that information. Actually, what we need to do is Good teachers need to become facilitators. They need to guide children to new information so they can explore by themselves. And this is a big focus that needs to change in schools. Number six is making schools maker places where children have the ability to experiment, to try out new things and to try something and fail and try and fail where they can use different tools physical and digital to experiment learn new things by themselves and have the safety zone of being able to learn from mistakes number seven schools need to become more internationally minded we need to teach things from different perspectives History, for example, we, history is very often taught just from one country's perspective. We need to look at this from lots of other countries and how they've seen this. Language is another example where we very often teach the language of the country next door instead of looking at global demand where there's huge demand for Chinese and Spanish and Arabic. Those languages we need to bring into schools to make kids competitive in the future. And number eight, is that we also have to change higher education. We need to have high schools and universities being able to provide this lifelong learning support that I was talking about before. But for me, it has to start in schools. In schools, we have the ability to set the seeds for all of this. And this is what schools need to do. Focus on these eight things and we will transform the education and prepare our kids for the fourth industrial revolution.
If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.